things you need to know is to know how to calculate area welcome to another tutorial video in this video we will cover area ensure that you have watched my previous video on how to calculate distance in order for you to follow through on what we are about to cover so how do we calculate area using our maps in geography it is similar to calculating area on mathematics. We use the same formula, which is area equals to length times breadth. So I will be using the map of waterport to calculate our area. So note that the scale is 1 is to 50,000 over there. As you see, typical exam question will be calculate the area of a demarcated area on a topographic map of an ortho photo map. So the question will be to calculate the area of this orange area that you see, that you see over, over there. So let's, let's work it out. The first thing you need to do is to take your ruler and measure the length and breadth of this required area so i'm gonna put my rule over there and try to measure my firstly my length right so as i measure there i get nine centimeters for my length right and then for my breadth i get something like seven centi seven centimeters from here we can work everything out now remember the formula for area is area equals to length times breadth right so in short we can say a equals to l times b now for the measurement we got it was nine centimeters but that every distance that you measured on the map you need to times it or to convert it by timing it using your using your scale so this is not this will be nine times fifty thousand which is the scale for your length times our breadth was seven centimeters and i'll multiply that with fifty fifty thousand when we are at this step, we need to go back to the question to determine whether our area should be in kilometers or in areas. For, so for interest sake, let's say we were required to calculate our area in, in kilometers. So for those of you who have watched the previous video on distance, we know we use our scale converter, which is KHDM. D C M and then we are in centimeters and we want kilometers meaning we'll put the one one over here and put zeros all the way to two kilometers because this is centimeters and this is our kilo kilometers now from this I know when I put my one over here and go to my left I know I'm gonna divide by by a hundred thousand so i'm gonna divide both side or both of these by a hundred thousand because i'm converting to kilo kilometers a hundred thousand also this side so this is to remember that i'm converting from centimeters to to kilometers right so that will cancel that zero will cancel zero and this side this will cancel that zero will cancel zero so from here i can do my calculations on my math this will be nine five divided by ten will be equals to zero comma five and this side seven times five divided by ten will be 0, 
so basically i just took my 50,000 centimeters divided it by a hundred thousand because i'm converting this 50,000 centimeters to two kilometers right so if i divide 50,000 by 100 ki uh, 100,000 this is 0, 0, 0,5 kilometers and also this side so basic mathematics if i punch this on my calculator 9 times 0, 0,5 will give me 4,5 times 7 times 0, 0,5 0 comma 5 this will give me 3 comma 3 comma 5 now as I times the 2 3 comma 5 or 4 comma 5 times uh, 3.5 this will give me 15 comma 75 kilometers but now we are calculating area and we know area is calculated in uh, square kilometers right so we'll just put our square kilometer over then and this is our area for this area over over there now we recap when you calculate area you use the formula area equals to length times breadth and in this case our length was nine centimeters and our breadth was seven seven centimeters now we times both length and breadth using the scale because we convert them from centimeters to kilometers right so after converting our distance to kilometers we can assume that for every one is to fifty thousand when you calculate your area you can multiply your length and breadth by zero comma 0, 0,5 because it's now in, in kilometers hence we got to the answer of 15.75 kilo kilometers squared so i hope this was clear for you and you have learned something from this tutorial video if not let me know why you don't understand on the comment section or post a question in the comment section until next time please don't forget to like share